What's up, folks? It's your buddy Fatal Roadie. Tonight we're going to be doing a raw recap. We started off with a video package recapping Roman Reigns when he stepped down due to his battle with leukemia. We then cut back to the ring with Roman Reigns coming out to the ring. He gets into the ring. He is showered with welcome back chants from the crowd. Reigns tells the crowd that he's missed him. And to paraphrase his own saying, this is our yard. He thanks everybody for their support. And he makes the announcement that his leukemia is in remission and that he's back for action. The crowd goes absolutely nuts with this. Roman Reigns walks out thanking the crowd as he's going up the ramp. Seth Rollins comes out, meets him at the top of the ramp, they hug it out. It is real awesome to see Roman Reigns back. And as we end this with a high note, we go on to our first match. Aleister Black and Ricochet versus The Revival. This is a glorified squash match. Aleister Black wins with the Black Mask kick on Dawson. I honestly have mixed feelings about this. I mean, for one, it's good to see Aleister Black and Ricochet winning this. But at the same time, we're burying the tag team champions. Couldn't we just throw him in with some jobbers or someone meaningless? Um, I don't know, like the Ascension. We have a backstage interview with Baron Corbin. Charlie grills him on his saying that he wished that Roman Reigns hadn't come back. Baron Corbin replies with he just hopes that Roman Reigns and him's path don't meet. We get the Elias Wasted Time segment out early. He gets interrupted by Lacey Evans, who does a drive-by. That interruption is then followed by Dean Ambrose. He says that he wants Drew McIntyre in a no-DQ match. He gets into the ring, asks Elias if he can play a song. Elias runs down the crowd. Ambrose hints if Elias can play Dirty Deeds. Elias tries to hit him with a guitar and then ends up eating a Dirty Deeds. We then have the Riot Squad versus Ronda Rousey and Natalya. What the fuck? Why? This is pretty much an amp match up until the point where Becky Lynch comes out through the crowd, fights her way through security, and hits Natalya with a crutch, causing a disqualification. Ronda Rousey tries to fight Becky Lynch, but security gets in, and Becky Lynch is arrested and taken up the ramp. After the commercial, Ronda Rousey gets onto the microphone, calls out Vince McMahon. He doesn't show, but Stephanie McMahon comes out. Ronda Rousey demands that Becky Lynch gets reinstated. Stephanie says that she's been arrested, and that's not going to happen. She tells Rousey that her opponent's going to be Charlotte Flair, and that she needs to accept that. Rousey once again demands that Becky Lynch is reinstated. Stephanie McMahon bows up to her, and then Rousey, kind of stammering in her words, says that Vince McMahon makes all the decisions, and that he has to make the right one. She lays down her title and walks away. We then have Jinder Mahal in the ring. Ooh. He's against the birthday celebration of Ric Flair and issues an open challenge. The challenge is then answered by Kurt Angle, which is our next match. This is pretty much a bathroom break. Kurt Angle wins with an ankle lock. Okay, yeah. We then have a moment of sleep with Alexa Bliss. She tells management that she's willing to throw her hat into the women's championship match. She then introduces her guest, Finn Balor. She starts to hit on Finn Balor, which I think now starts to look like what her character is becoming. They're then interrupted by Leo Rush, who tells Balor that Bobby Lashley is supposed to be the Intercontinental Champion. This all culminates into our next match, Finn Balor versus Leo Rush for the IC title. This was actually a pretty decent match. There was a lot of high flying, there was a lot of flippy shit going on. Leo Rush was able to take out Finn Balor's knee, but he was still able to get a coup de grace on Leo Rush for the pin to retain his title. We then had a backstage segment with the Ascension talking to Tucker of Heavy Machinery. They're picking on Dozer. Dozer comes into the scene and lays out the Ascension. See, why weren't they in the opening match? They really should have been the one eating the pin instead of the revival. But something tells me this is probably going to be leading up to the kickoff show match of Fastlane. We then have Bobby Lashley versus Braun Strowman. Lashley attacks Strowman before the match starts. This match really doesn't even get started. Braun Strowman starts to fight back. He lays out both Leo Rush and Bobby Lashley and tells Lashley that he's coming for all three of them. Great, so we're going to be doing this for the next couple of weeks. Bruh. We then have Dean Ambrose versus Drew McIntyre in a no DQ match. Ambrose attacks McIntyre on the ramp. They get into the ring. The match starts. Dean Ambrose takes out a belt but is quickly taken by McIntyre who hides Ambrose's back. Something fierce. After the commercial, Dean Ambrose has control of the belt and he wails away on Drew McIntyre's back. Drew McIntyre tries to hit Dean Ambrose with the step, but Ambrose moves out of the way, knocking Drew McIntyre down into the steps as well. Elias comes out from nowhere, hits Dean Ambrose with the guitar, gets him in the ring. Ambrose eats a Claymore kick for the pin. Then Bobby Lashley and Baron Corbin come out. They come down to the ring. Elias joins them and all four of them beat down on Ambrose. Seth Rollins' music hits. He comes walking out with a steel chair and he's quickly followed by Roman Reigns. They come out. They clean house. They start to walk up the ramp and then turn around and look back at Dean Ambrose. Now, I don't know exactly where they're going to be going with this, but if by chance they do have a S.H.I.E.L.D. reunion, that's going to look really weird given all the storylines that have been led up to this point. With Dean Ambrose saying that Roman Reigns' leukemia was his own fault or something like that, that all that kind of looks really weird. Although, I might be wrong. We then have Bailey versus Nia Jax with Sasha Banks and Tamina at ringside. This is an M match. Nia Jax gets involved with Sasha Banks, allowing Bailey to take advantage. She hits Nia Jax with the flying elbow for the pin. Eh. 
They're supposed to be facing each other at Fastlane. So I'm thinking next week we'll have Tamina versus Sasha Banks. We then have all the WWE superstars on the stage as Triple H and Stephanie McMahon come out for the 70th birthday celebration of Ric Flair. Triple H recaps everything that happened with Roman Reigns, Ronda Rousey, and Becky Lynch. Then introduces Shawn Michaels, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Kurt Angle, which I'm not exactly sure how he fits into all this, and Sting. We then have a video package looking back on Ric Flair's career. Stephanie McMahon unveils a custom 16-time championship belt, almost similar to what I got back there. Triple H says, without further ado, let's get to the birthday boy. He introduces Ric Flair, his music hits, but he doesn't come out. We then go to the Titantron where Batista is dragging a cameraman to Ric Flair's dressing room. He goes into the dressing room, you hear a bunch of crashing. Then Batista comes out dragging Ric Flair. He looks into the camera and says, do I have your attention now, Hunter? Triple H then goes backstage and rushes to Ric Flair as officials are calling for doctors. And with that, we end tonight's Raw. This is actually a pretty good Raw. It was awesome to hear that Roman Reigns' battle with cancer has gone into remission. Awesome. Cool. Good to see him back in action. Our opening match was kind of eh. It was good though, but it, yeah, wasn't crazy about it. Most of the other matches were kind of eh, but they were passable. And it looks like we're probably going to be getting Triple H versus Batista either at Fastlane or WrestleMania. But if my money's going on it, I'll probably be saying WrestleMania. And I might have missed something, but I don't think we had anybody pointing to the sign. But that'll do it for this episode of Raw Recap. Leave a comment down below. Watch Donald Tony's Raw. Watch thought of this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. I've been Fatal Roadie. You've been awesome. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, if it's too loud, you're too old. Say it.